In a shocking Facebook post Saturday night, just three days before the primary election, the son of Congressman Keith Ellison's ex-girlfriend claimed to have seen a video on his mother's computer showing Keith Ellison dragging his mom off the bed by her feet, screaming obscenities at her. The woman, Karen Monahan, tweeted that it's true and that she was the victim of physical and emotional abuse, narcissist abuse, she calls it, during her relationship with Ellison. Ellison sent this statement in response. Karen and I were in a long-term relationship, which ended in 2016, and I still care deeply for her well-being. This video does not exist because I never behaved in this way, and any characterization otherwise is false. Monaghan responded on Twitter with, Keith Ellison, you know you did that to me. I've given you every opportunity to get help and heal. For several months on social media, Monaghan has been posting about being the victim of abuse, but without naming anyone. In December, Monaghan appeared on a TPT program, introducing herself as a Me Too survivor. I haven't shared all of my experiences. In it, she didn't go through specifics of her alleged experiences, but said this. Example, a lot of the politicians that we see think about the power dynamics with elected officials. They have a built-in staff that's paid to protect them. Last week, Monaghan tweeted she would be breaking her silence. Earlier in the month, she tweeted that she saved texts and videos. Monaghan shared some text messages between her and Ellison, but nothing proving domestic abuse. And right now, there is no video circulating. Congressman Ellison is one of five DFL candidates for attorney general in Tuesday's primary. He's also the deputy chair of the Democratic National Committee. Ellison declined an interview request today, and so did Monaghan, but she emailed a very long statement with her entire side of the story, and we've posted that on care11.com. Mm.